Now there is one more company that is trying to claim that it is going to build the best software engineer. Yes, world's best software engineer according to SW Bench. This is a new company called Cosign and they've got a project called Genie. Cosign Genie that is launched exactly five months later. Devin, you still remember Devin? If you remember Devin, let me know in the comment section if you think Devin is still being cooked or Devin is already cooked by Genie because it is exactly five months. They launched on 12th March and they have still not given access to a lot of people. I'm not sure what is happening with Devin, but this company, Genie, they have claimed that they have got 30% on SWE bench, software engineering bench. This is a benchmark where there are a couple of software engineering problems, technically speaking, GitHub issues, and these AI agents have to solve that. For context, Devin solved 13.8%. I mean, there are certain nuances to it. So according to the founder, co-founder of Genie, that there are about 2,200-ish questions on software engineering bench, and they've been solved only about 500-ish while they extrapolated the data. But this one, this this company, Cosign Genie, has solved all of them, like all of the 2,200, and they've managed to get 30%. That means if you have presented it with 100 problems, it managed to solve 30%, which is nowhere closer to the second place. Even the second place is 19%, the third place is 18%. And I know as a matter of fact that Ader with GPT-4O plus Claude 3 Opus solves it around 18%. So this is like mind-blowingly far away from everybody else. And that is probably their secret sauce. This is not going to be an open source model. This is still a waiting list. I would strongly encourage you to watch this video for you to completely understand what the product can do. But you can just go here and then ask a question. For example, you can say, create a new page under the website folder announcing a new model. Once you have that in place, it's going to create the website. So you can have it in GitHub issue integration and you have got multiple tools and it has got some agentic structure to make sure that uh, the tests are getting validated. So the code is not just being hallucinated. The code is like actually a good code that can actually work in production and bunch of other things. Uh, if you want access, you can join the waiting list. But what I found interesting about this company is that the fact that this is not just a custom, this is not a model that they took out of box from OpenAI. I mean, it is still OpenAI. You can see somewhere mentioned that this is powered by OpenAI. So this is still OpenAI, but the fact that they have fine-tuned this model, or I don't know what they did, they've not used the version fine-tuned, somehow they're using the version training. So they have taken OpenAI model. So in this case, as you can see here, so they started with the 16 to 32,000 context window, but somehow OpenAI actually released the model, the longer context model. And fortunately, that's according to them, a short while later, we were able to secure the ability to train a long context OpenAI model. So in my understanding, in my understanding of deep learning and machine learning, this technically would mean that they have taken an existing OpenAI model and fine tuned it because that's what OpenAI allows you to do. If you want a custom model, which is super expensive, I think you have to have a separate partnership with OpenAI. I'm not sure if that is a partnership that they did, but either way, so they have not used just the normal GPT-4.0 that you and I get to use it. So that is one aspect. The second aspect here is that for its most recent training run, Genie was trained on billions of tokens of data. The mix of which was chosen to make the model as competent as possible, and they've given the language split. So as you can see here, JavaScript has got 21%. And this is again the data mix. So that means they have done some kind of training. And that is quite evident with the data mix that they've given us here. So 21% of JavaScript, 21% of Python, 14% of TypeScript, 14% of, isn't this TypeScript? I'm not sure, I'm not familiar with JavaScript. And they've got a bunch of uh, data, well, like languages here. And they've also got the example types. Okay, feature, new feature development is 25%, bug fixing is 20%, refactoring is 15%. Another very interesting aspect in the technical paper is that they said that when Genie was first trained or Genie was first created, it never had seen anything wrong because it all it saw was human code and most of the human code that was published online, probably barring a stack overflow, are completed code, like proper code, code that completely works. So they said Genie did not know what does a wrong code look like. So it was actually poor, quite poor at reacting to mistakes that it had made. So because Genie had not seen any error, it could not understand when it made a mistake and it was not able to fix it. Fortunately, once we had the first iteration of Genie trained, once again, they're using the word trained here. I think this is loosely used. I'm not sure if they've actually built a custom model because my understanding is, is that it is built on top of OpenAI, so I could be wrong. So once the first iteration of Genie was trained, we were able to use it to generate synthetic data that we injected into the data set of our next model version. Because we have the final states of the tasks of the training data set, 
we could use the previous version of genie to come up with a solution then if it was wrong we could use the final state to show it how to get from where it was to where it should be so basically they could create like a complete uh, reasoning workflow where the genie could create a wrong answer and then you use genie to fix the wrong answer and you know have the correct solution and then it could have this understanding so every time we repeated this process the initial candidate solution from genie was stronger and in many cases correct and in the cases where it wasn't the amount of correction we had to show the model in the data set was much reduced there are a lot of interesting details one another interesting detail that i uh, uh, found is that we are expanding our model for portfolio into uh, to include smaller models for simpler tasks and larger models for complex challenges leveraging our unique data set this allows us to convert any state of the art foundation model into a genie model so again going back to my understanding is that this currently could be an open ai model but uh, they are actually figuring out how they can use any state of the art foundation model and then make it a genie model so i'm not sure is it just simply rag is it like bunch of agents is it fine tuning no idea our plans include context extending an open source model pre training extending a foundation model on an exist extensive data set aiming for improved generalization and specialized data reconciliation i don't know what does it mean one of the most interesting developments is fine tuning genie on specific code bases this is the first time probably i'm seeing them using fine tuning as a word so i think it'll be good for all of us if people use a certain words in the certain manner like for example pre training is pre training post training is post training fine tuning is completely different so the final point that i wanted to highlight before shutting down this video is that swe bench the software engineering bench has recently modified their submission requirement and it requires a full process of our ai model in addition to the final result so they just don't agree with the result because anybody can you know like you could hire an engineer from india or some developing nation and then you can ask that engineer to solve the problem submit it to sw bench and you might claim that you know i've got 60% so to avoid that they want like the full working process of the model so the they like this company cosine claiming that this change process is a significant challenge for us as our proprietary methodology is evident in this internal process and it might open source their approach now this is a place where they have actually spoke about approach so it's they're talking about methodology not a model and open source or approach again this these are like very interesting um, word play i'm just like using the words that they've used here to kind of understand what i know but this is a good model it seems like at least from the demo and at least from the benchmark and at least the fact that the ceo is like openly chatting with people explaining the points i think it seems like this is this is a good model so 2294 questions on sw bench based on that they have hit like 30% 30% is like way above anybody else uh, as you can see here and what we do not know is whether it is a model whether it is a solution whether it is a system whether it is a fine tuned model we don't know so they have just mentioned by actually training genie this unique and complex data set uh, rather than simply prompting base models which is what other ai rappers do we observed that genie is tackling varied highly contextual never seen problems like a human genie was trained on proprietary data that codifies human reasoning okay trained is the word that they have again used enabling genie to perform far better than over sampling with multiple out of the box llms that means they are basically doing something very different because all the current approaches devin open devin devika all these what they do is they use out of box llms they have some kind of agentic behavior and then they try to solve the problem recursively and they try to figure out if the problem has been solved so according to this genie is trying to do something different that's why i wanted to make this video and then show you that this product exists if you want to join the waiting list go click join waiting list they ask you a bunch of questions and then you can fill in and if you are lucky enough you can wait for the next 5 months and then just pray that you might get access to it i don't know what is happening with devin so anyways no software engineer has been harmed in this process see you in another video happy prompting